Hey, let's go to some Amazon return bin stores. Let's go hustling to see if we can actually make some money buying stuff at these bin stores and flipping them on eBay or Facebook Marketplace where you can end up, if you go to these stores, this is a 7.3 liter diesel Ford alternator, brand new, 10 bucks. Got a couple of Jeep lights, LED lights, brake lights, 10 bucks. You got a long neck faucet, 10 bucks. All kinds of stuff, but gonna do some shopping, gonna do some comparisons while we're looking at it, and then we'll see if we can turn some kind of a profit. It'll be awesome. Let's go. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, tap the notification oh, bell. And if you want to, comment below. Line is short. That's pretty common. And stir them with a stick here. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Grab your bag and a buggy at this one. And they, people don't show up till the very end because they know that they go three, two, one, go. And everybody's in there next to the table. Three, two, one, go. Just like that. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> then you just start searching and uh, bring a knife, bring a little small little knife so you can uh, open the boxes because a lot of times there's nothing on the actual box itself. So what are you going to do? As you can see, I'm raffling through there. I'm not really looking for anything in particular. Is If you think and you're, you're questioning it, I think this is okay. You just go ahead and throw it in your basket and uh, your cart, your shopping cart. Go ahead and throw it in there, stack them up. They also give you a bag at this one. Now, they're not all the same. Some of them, some of them do it different. I'm hearing music, so I'm going to have to actually turn, turn down the sound from these. You can see I found some car lock boxes, you know, uh, the kind you find on used cars outside where the salesmen don't have to go in and get a key. They can just pop that box open and get the key and go test drive the car with the customer. Or you can do that, you know, you leave your car there for somebody, put this lock box in there. They know the combination. Those are very hard to get off without, without doing that. I'll put the price of what they're selling for right here so you'll know uh that eh, i could have bought five of them there and that's that's a carburetor to an airplane small little you know uh amazon they're, they're not that expensive i'll put i'll put a uh, link to it if, if you're interested in that thing in this particular time, I ended up with this alternator, which is a Ford 7.3 diesel. That's the one that this one matches with all the numbers after I did my research. And uh, you'll see the price value of it right here. Now, of course, I'm selling it probably on eBay or Marketplace. I don't know how stuff like this actually sells. Uh, you know, uh, we're this is an experiment. This is getting away from what I actually do. Um, saying this thing's worth over a hundred bucks. Everything in the store is $10. So you got, you got to do your research. Um, if it only sells for 30 to $40 brand new, you got to remember you're going to have to, in order to sell it, you're going to have to cut that in half. So if you have to sell something for $20, it's not going to be worth it. Uh, by the time you pay fees and, most of the time it's free shipping now because, you know, Amazon ships everything for free. So you're going to have to, you know, not even make a profit if it don't, you're only going to sell it for 20. So if you see 40 to 45 to $50 selling on Amazon, I got two things. I would, I would pass on it. I just looked at that alternator knowing that 
even though it's made in China, that it's going to bring probably a little over a hundred dollars, maybe, maybe a little more. Maybe it only sells for a little over a hundred dollars on Amazon. Uh, I'll flash that on the screen so you'll know exactly um, how much it'll bring. Say I sell it for sixty or seventy, and I only got ten dollars in it minus fees. I got fifty, so it, you know it's five times the money that you spend. So that that's a pretty good one. These other two Ben stores I went through, I, I mean, I found a couple of, you know, I found those Jeep tail lights, this one, um, LED. This video is sponsored by NVIDIO AI. That's I-N-V-I-D-E-O AI. You can Google it and get yourself there. You can go straight to ai.nvideo.io. This thing is awesome. Uh, right at the end of this little segment it's going to have one of their videos and it's pretty cool what i did is i stole the script off of this and put it into their ai and told them to make a video and it's pretty cool and i was going wow that makes it very easy but i've been messing with it and having some fun with it go to ai.nvideo.io and in videos i-n-v-i-d-e-o just so you know Link will be in the description. Go mess around with it. It's totally free. You can download them into, into your computer or into your phone. And you can edit with your phone. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Go check it out. Remember, link in the description, ai.nvideo.io, or it's nvideo AI. Google that, and it should get you there. I don't think people understand just how much of a joke Amazon return bin stores are. I mean, you'd have better luck finding a unicorn than striking it rich here. So here's the deal, folks. If you're thinking of making a profit by reselling stuff from these Amazon return bins, well, bless your heart, picture this. You've got dreams of flipping a $10 find into a small fortune. Reality check, the bin stores have already scooped up the treasures and left you with, well, the crumbs. Sure, you might get a $30 item if you're lucky. But after eBay fees, shipping, and trying to compete with Amazon prices, you'll be in the red faster than a jackrabbit on a hot griddle. I visited three of these stores. Three and it was the same story every time. They're a good deal if you want to keep the stuff for yourself, but if you're looking to turn a profit, you're better off trying to sell ice to an Eskimo. So, save your time and gas money, or if you're feeling adventurous, go ahead and dive into those bins. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Yeehaw! In conclusion, I would say, hey, if you got a lot of time and you want to put in a lot of effort, you want to do, you know, a lot of work, this is, this is a lot of time on the computer, a lot of time out there hunting stuff, uh, a lot of time go, going to the bin stores. And if you want to do that, that's great. I, I don't think it's the, a profitable enough for me to stick with it, but mainly because the stuff is cherry picked. They do go in and they take out the best stuff. There's not going to be any iPads or, you know, high dollar five hundred dollar items in there they pull those out and they sell those on their own all of them do it i don't care if they say they don't they do so in conclusion it's a lot of work for a little profit most of the time if you get in there and you spend some time like i did this is this is a highly edited video i was in there for a couple hours just trying to find a couple of deals and walked out with two things but the percentage has to be there for the time that you spend. But anyway, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and you know all that stuff. Please comment below. I've got to go put some ton discs in, uh, on eBay or something. I don't know. I don't even know. These things are awfully heavy. I don't know if they're worth shipping. So. It's just another thing. It's back to musical instruments for me, guitars, stuff like that. I'm going to stick with what I know. This was an experiment. I would give it a, a D if we're going from A to F. Anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all be cool.